How's it going everybody? Budget Pokemon here. And in this video we're going to be opening these booster packs. So we have two booster packs of Chilling Rain. We had a bit of luck with these in the mystery box, so maybe we can get uh, something else. We have two Astro Radiance. We have two Lost Origin. We have one Rebel Clash. We have two Sword and Shield base set. And then we have three Champion Spells. So these are the booster packs we're going to be opening. A little bit of a different video, usually I would be opening a product. But uh, the mystery box was actually pretty fun because we got a lot of variety in terms of boosters. So that's why I thought we'd open this one. Anywho, let me just clean this up. Alright, and there we go. Let's get it started with the with one of the Champion's Path packs. I actually haven't opened Champion's Path yet, so I'm pretty excited about this. There's a, a, a lot of sets that I haven't opened here. Code is backwards, so there you go, Champion's Path. And since we don't have that many booster packs, I will be doing the card trick. So let's do a two foot of front, this one right here. And let's see, Suspicious Food Tin. A Hyper Potion. We got a Malamar. A Roly Coly. A Thrabush. Another Potion. A Galarian Linoon. Nicket. A Team Yell Grunt. A Fighting Energy. And a Holographic Lycanroc. Very nice. I've had a lot of luck with the, um, with the, whatchamacallit, with the mystery box that I've opened. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it down below. We actually made our money back from that, from that uh, mystery box, which is really, really nice. I do wonder with the, with the card code, which way is it? Okay, this one is the right way, so there you go, Sword and Shield base set. It was pretty surprising to me, although it was a pretty cool opening, I have to admit. Let's see what we can get in here. Heat more, Stunfisk, Hyper Potion, Glass of Fleur, a Goldeen, Diglett, Ruby, Hoot Hoot, a Holographic Glossy Fleur, Energy, and yo, a Lapras! Look at that artwork, I haven't seen this before. Yo, this looks sick. That's a nice Lapras V. Who drew that, by the way? Call me get out. I'll have to check that um, in editing. As opposed to those, cool. We've pulled an alt art, but it didn't stop there. Let's open the single, single Rebel Clash, where we can get the Rainbow Rare Bosses Orders. That would be nice. That would be amazing. There we go. There we go. Code card is the right way up. It's always strange, like sometimes they're right way up, sometimes they're not. So there we go, Training Court, Dewblade, Lumber, Binacle, a Scyther, yo, check out that illustration, that looks sick. Bellaby, Dreepy, Magmar, Reverse Lotad, a Fighting Energy, and a Boltent. Okay, so not the boss's orders, but at least we got a pull, we got a V. We got a V, at least we're not going out empty-handed. So yeah, Astro Radiance. This is actually pretty fun. A lot of different booster packs. It's quite the nice change, although for the next one, of course, I have a another Japanese booster box opening planned for the next video. It's not going to be one of the newer sets. It's actually going to be uh, kind of an older set, but a very, very cool set. You know, are you seeing this? Even like these are scuffed. I don't know if you can tell that on the video. They're like scuffed up here. That's strange. Anyways, mustn't let me, uh, mustn't let that throw me off. We'll just continue with a Drift Blim, a Dark Patch, Pylo Swine, a Growlithe, Voltor, Rufflet, Ponyta, Rowlet, another Drift Blim, Lightning Energy, and a non holographic uh, Bravery. Braviary. So a few things I wanted to talk about in this video, actually, as we grab a Chilling Rain pack. As I said in the mystery box opening, I've got my pre-order in for the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection that will be releasing uh, soonish. Forgotten where it was. There you go. Uh, end of October, I think, twenty eighth. We'll see if I get it. If I get it, and if then when. It's also, it's a question of if and when. If I do get it, it would be nice. The promo cards, they actually have been leaked. I think someone got them early or something. 
They look amazing. Like, they look absolutely amazing. Coughing. Heracross. A fighting energy. And oh my god, yo! A rainbow rare Melanie! Yo, dude, as as is like tradition, it is off centered. It's always off center. Every single card I pull is off center, but you know what? I don't care. It's a rainbow rare trainer. Yo, that's sick. That is super sick. Nice. Chilling rain. Chilling rain giving us the pulse. First the alt art. And now this. Let's open a Lost Origin one. Let's open a Lost Origin one. The other thing I wanted to talk about, because I've thought back about the uh, Radiant Charizard that we've pulled, also in the Mystery Box opening. Yeah, we pulled an Alt and Dark, we pulled a Radiant Charizard, but that's still not the end of it. We pulled a lot more. Uh, that one actually won a, um, a tournament recently. I think the one in Baltimore. So that is something uh, to look out for. Maybe that deck is on the rise. I do remember that, like, Arceus V-Star and, like, Origin Form Palkia V, or V-Star was, like, up there with, like, the top decks. And that one was really a surprise to, I guess, most of the people there. And it actually ended up winning, and it did get first place, which is insane. Okay, we've got a trainer card. Yo, holy moly, we got a Pikachu! We've got a Pikachu. Okay, this actually is really cool. Because I have this in Japanese, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show something. I wanna show something with these Trainer Gallery cards. Let's see what else we have. We have a Lightning Energy and a Rhyperior. I actually want to show something with these. I said it in the Mystery Box op once again. I also said it in the Mystery, bi Mystery Box opening that I wanted to show something with these Trainer Gallery cards. But this, this actually works. So we're gonna do that at the end of the video. But first, let's open another Champion's Path pack. See where you can get your champions, but I guess you want to pull the the uh, Charizard V Max. That would be like the best pull in here. Forgotten? Is it backwards? It is backwards. There you go. There's the code card for Champions Path. Then we're gonna do three to the front energy here, nice and neatly. And let's continue Malamar, Team Yell Grunt, Rotom Phone, Pokeball, Weedle. Kakuna, Corvana, Potion, a Hyper Potion, Fighting Energy, and a Gardevoir V. Nice, with the pulls, we're blessed. We're blessed, I love Gardevoir, so this is a really nice pull. This is a really, really nice pull. So yeah, okay, so we have just one booster pack of every single set left now. Let's go for the Sword and Shield base. And I did think, I did think about the, uh, I want to do open uh, every Sword and Shield booster pack. I was thinking towards the end of the year, as I clean my desk, towards the end of the year, but from what I've heard, there is going to be another, uh, like, high class set, if you will, which is like Sword and Shield, like 12.5, I think about like 12.5, similar to, to, um, to Shining Fates. So, that's, that won't release uh, until next year, I think. So it might be interesting, so I might have to do, to hold off for that opening until every single Sword and Shield set gets released. And then once again, once, once that set is released, we will move it on to uh, Pokémon Violet and Scarlet. It will be the end of an era for, uh, for Sword and Shield. And then we're gonna move it on. Uh, I... Do you remember, like, V-Star Pokémon are supposed to to stay? But I think the the Vs are gonna be um, exchanged for the EX Pokémon, which is actually really cool to me. I love the EX Pokémon, and this is actually, like, the EX Pokémon in um, Scarlet and Violet. They are a continuation of the old-school EX Pokémon, the ones I love so much from, from, like, Ruby and Sapphire. They're not like the EX Pokémon from Pokémon X and Y, as we pull two Nickets in a row, and we've got another Lycanroc. It's it's Lycan it's Lycanroc day. That's actually pretty nice. They've uh, shown a few. I think they've shown like a Lucario EX. I don't think they've shown the uh, the skills or like the attacks. They might have shown the the two legendaries for their respective uh, respective game. 
you go, there's the code card for Astral Radiance. And we can get another trainer card or trainer gallery card. Energy here. And unidentified fossil. So we'll see how the how the competitive scene gets gets mixed up by that. I suspect the EX Pokemon are gonna be pretty strong starting out. But we'll see, we'll see. Volt Orb, Energy Lotto, and a Overquill. Non-holographic Overquill. We've got two booster packs left, but even then we've already pulled something. Some very, very nice cards. So this has been a successful opening so far. We would pop it if we can get a... Um, as I open this booster pack and it doesn't want to open correctly. There you go. That's weird. Here is the, the code card. We'll see what we can do here. Three to the front. Energy right here. And let's see. Lady. Baidu. Electric. Mawile. Slugma. Clefairy. Roselia. Porygon. Inkei. Fighting Energy. And a Manectric. Very nice. Very cool illustration. I like this. Really, really like this illustration. So yeah, the next Japanese set, I do want to open a Japanese set after this one, like next next Wednesday. It's gonna be an older one, but it's a very, very amazing set. I really like this set, so that's why I wanted to open it. And the next set is, uh, what is it called? I've forgotten the name, but that one will be, I think, the second to last before the before the high class, like V-Star Universe. That one, I think, releases at the end of October. So it will be some time until I get this. But supposedly it has a... We've already seen the, um, the unknown V, like the full art, and I think a Lugia V-Star. This should also have, like, a Lugia, like, alternate art. That one hasn't been leaked. And a Leopard V, nice. Some Lost Pack magic here. Dumb Lost Pack Magic, so this is going to be really, really nice. So, I do have to say, that was a very successful opening. Let's just go through the pulls once again. Two Lycan Rocks, of course. We have a Leipar which just pulled, a full Art Gardevoir V. This is really cool. Pikachu, let me just put this aside. Melanie Rainbow, really, really nice. Boltend, and a Lapras V. So, let me just grab the Japanese version of this card, because I want to show you something, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So here we go. This is what I wanted to show in the mystery box opening, but it wouldn't it wouldn't work with the um, super rares character super rares because they both have black borders. But look at this one. I, I, in case you didn't know, the Japanese cards do have silver silver borders, as opposed to the to the English ones just show here. There's normal cards, sil uh, yellow borders, and just looking at these two, just without taking into account this language, which one looks better? I do have to say, I, I really, really prefer the one with the silver borders. Like, the trainer gallery cards look so much better with silver borders as opposed to the yellow borders. But don't get me wrong, it's the same artwork, it's a very nice artwork, and I really, really like it. But just the border, like, the border can change so much. I do suppose for, like, an electric-type Pokémon, it does kind of work, because it does feature Pikachu. But you just have to look at this and just... Like, you know, immediately I would say, yeah, this one looks way better. But let me know what you think. But other than that, this has been a very successful opening. I had a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. Uh, consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the content. And stay tuned for the next opening coming uh, next Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.